This is how life with X2O works. I built a Flex app called Recipe Bar. It's a simple online cookbook that lets you view recipes. A recipe has a title, instructions, a serving size, and a picture. We've organized recipes by styles. Here we have Italian recipes. And each one has a list of ingredients. Ingredients and styles can be shared across multiple recipes. I built Recipe Bar using nothing more than my Flex development environment and X2O. No database installation, no server-side development, no back-end integration. I let X2O take care of that for me. Here's the X2O web client. I created a project called Sample Recipe Application and built a data model. I define what a recipe is here. These should look familiar to you. I've added attributes to recipes, and underneath I've told X2O that a recipe has one style and many ingredients. In turn, these are defined in X2O as well. When I generate my project, X2O builds the entire remote backend infrastructure and gives me a few great tools for free. Tools and code that would take me days to build on my own. Here's the generated content management system. Let me log in and show you. I can immediately add, modify, or remove recipes, styles, and ingredients. X2O created the entire CMS based on my data model. Let's edit a recipe. We've got an edit screen customized to how I type the various attributes and relationships in my data model. Here I'll edit the serving size. So that's the CMS in a nutshell. Now let's look at the generated AS doc site. It gives me a full list of properties, events, and methods available in each of X2O's generated objects. Here we go, I've got a method to load a collection of recipes by a styles ID. And down below, I've got methods to load recipes based on name and serving size. I marked those attributes as filtered in the X2O web client, and now I can filter recipes based on name and serving size if I wanted to. Now let's look at a recipe's value object. Here, I can access all the attributes and relationships I created in X2O, like a name, instructions, or the related style. Down below, I've got methods to load, insert, update, or delete individual recipes right from Flex. All I do is call these methods. X2O handles the rest. Back in the X2O web client, here's a link to my generated SWIC file. I simply download it and drag and drop it into the libs folder of my Flex project. X2O creates all of the generated Flex value objects in the com.x2o.gen.vo namespace every time. Let me show you how easy it is to access a recipe's data. I'll trace out the current recipe's instructional text. And now let me trace out the name of the style that this recipe is related to. It's just that seamless and simple. Now here's the rest of my code, and I'll show you where we load a collection of recipes by style. Here we're loading it by the French style. So that's it. With X2O, I get a generated CMS, documentation, and SWIC file, and I can start coding in Flex right away. Life with X2O is smooth and seamless. No tedious grunt work anymore. Make your development life easier and start using X2O today.